You know, man, you can dig into somebody's past and try to say what they, whatever past mistakes, but you got to hold yourself accountable when you say something to discredit somebody's victory. And Hasim Rahman said, by his own words, that if the body test and come back clean, he's going to give Tyson Fury all the credit in the world. Now, I don't know what world he's living in, but if he knew better, he would already know that the WBC requires by the testing. At the championship level, it's a must. It's a requirement for you to get tested. That's one thing I do respect about the WBC side is that they have that VADA working in their favor. Matter of fact, it can even work against them. We've seen it happen. Don't believe me? Ask Mauricio Suleiman. Okay? This dude had high hopes for Alejandro Jimenez and Bada was like uh, I don't know what you think you're doing bro this this dude built chick ain't doing shit we found X, Y, and Z in her blood so on blood and crip or whatever y'all believe in Bada will catch your ass if you're juicing in the sport of boxing at the pro level on God and them but Hasim Rock, Hasim Rockman, we 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 expect you to uh, own up to what you said. Give Tyson Fury his credit, and not just judge somebody based on adjustments. That's what Tyson Fury did. He made adjustments, and he beat Deontay Wilder's ass. And a lot of people can't accept it. Everybody is looking for a conspiracy. So y'all try to throw the Vada testing up there, get it out of here. It's body. It's body. So I gave it up to Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury for being clean athletes. And y'all already know on this side, it's Vada or Nada.